Okay, had an issue with recording. An episode didn't record properly. Bummer. So, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what happened. Stay positive. So, we now have five containers being fed with stuff. I think we got up to the wire last time. Uh, now we also have screws being fed in. And we also started a new mining and smelting area over here. As well as we were out looking for stuff, we found two... Well, actually, three more iron patches over here, but I've minored up two and have them fed into their own smelting area. Four smelters for two miners. And uh, we aren't using anywhere near the amount of throughput that this has yet, but uh, let me just put, it on, put down a watchtower and I can show you what I've done. I would sort of love to have shared the experience with you, but uh, yeah, me and Streamlabs don't always get on. So, there's the hub and the base over there, and that's the constructor bus we were making last time to make the basic parts. So we came around to here, and there's, well, behind that tree, one spot there and one spot there, and we've hooked those up to these smelters. We've only needed the use of one smelter, or technically even half a smelter, for this production, because iron rods get made into 15 per minute, and the screws need 15 iron rods per minute, so it's just a one for one conversion. And this uh, will allow us much more output to feed things we're going to require being built in the future. Because when you start building assemblers, which take two parts and making into one, you'll need lots of constructors to feed those parts. So the base will start, or the factory will start growing exponentially once we get into assemblers. So we also extended our power line round to here. We've got the colour gun, as you can see, I'm holding here. We researched that from. Uh, uh, I think it was from flower petals we analysed. And we've been colouring all of our main backbone power lines blue and leaving the ones connecting to machines orange. Just so I can refer to them and see what I'm clicking at, what, what, what I'm doing, if I am going to build the power lines in this way. So yeah, unfortunately we missed a bit but not too much. Also we got the chainsaw, so we were able to tidy up some bits that were clipping through uh, trees. Nearly all of it, that back line with the copper ore we didn't cut down because there's some really nice trees there, it doesn't look too bad. So yeah, sorry I had to miss out on that, but admittedly there's a lot of grindy handcrafting still going on there, but now we're at a stage where things really are looking up, so it's pretty good. So, what do we need to do next? Oh, there's a a floaty friend down there by the look of it. So next I think we need to start researching towards assemblers. So let's go and have a look at the hub. We'll plummet to our death first. So let's follow the line down. Let's take a lift as well, why not? Let's go for a wander along our wonderful conveyor belts as we reach our mini mall being supplied with all the bits we are going to need for these starting times. Can we jump up here? Yeah. Okay. So, looking quite pretty and nice in an industrial kind of way. So let's check out what we need. Let's uh, research the mycelial scan. Oh no, sorry, the bacon agaric scan, I should say. Let's get that working. And now, what should we uh, re research next? I think it's going to be part assembly because that's the that's the way forward. So let's give it everything we have here, and then we'll visit the mall and see what else we can feed it. What else do we need? More wire, more plates, more rods, a bit of everything. So let's just take all of those. Yeah, we'll take the screws as well, why not? Plenty of rods, look at this. An abundance of rods. And I don't think we need any concrete for the moment. Oh, that's the wrong table. So there's your wire. 
there's your plates, there's your rods, and there's your cable. Oh, a few more rods. And there we are. We now have assemblers. Milestone reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Right, let's top up our fuel system. And um, I actually think the first thing I want to do is make a biofuel processing plant. Because it just makes life so much easier rather than handcrafting it. It's a bit of a pain. We want to get away from all kinds of handcrafting as soon as we can. But then we also want to get away from organic fuel power stations as fast as we can too. But we haven't got to the coal uh, processing technology yet. We have to build the space elevator for that. So let's make up a list. What do we need? We need a storage container for leaves and for wood. And then we need a container for biofuel once it's out. We also need a two constructors to make biomass and then biofuel. So let's have a look at how we're going to be doing this. Let's put ourselves down a watchtower. Somewhere about here. Shame this bit's quite hilly, but I'm sure we can find somewhere to place everything. Just don't want it to be too far away from where we're working. So, we have enough stuff. So, let's build. Let's place... We want to put them, the input and output close to each other. So, can we put two there and um, one there, I think. That's probably going to work for us. Nice and close to the hub. So it'll be leaves and wood go in here, come out, get processed, and go back in. Don't need a lot of space for this, so I'm not too concerned. Turn that round. Put him there. And turn him round. Put him there. No. There, that will do. So we want a belt round to here. Oh, that's too steep. So we'll put it here. Here. And then into there. We need a merger for these. So let's connect up. Let's actually connect up the top one. Put a merger into the line. And then curl that one up to, my, to meet it. So quite far up here, so we've got some room. Can we just go boom? Not quite. Let's take a running jump. Oh, missed. Oh dear, never mind. Where am I? Let's put our torch on so we can see a bit better. Oh, no, that's a bit too much for it. Hmm. That was a bit silly, was it? Can we get it to there? No. That's too steep. Can we put one here? No, that's too much as well. So let's come out and around. Uh, oh, it's just, it's, yeah, we have to come out this way a bit first. And then come along here. Oh, this is going to be messy. Okay, let's come to the other side. We have a bit more room. Oops. Yeah, let's go through the floor anyway. We should be able to link these two up now, actually. Oh, no, still too much. So let's make this pole go upwards from there. Oh no, that's going to get in the way of this now, isn't it? 
and it's too steep anyway. This isn't working out for us as well as I thought, so let's put this in so we know what space we have to work with. And let's come out from here. To a pole like this. Let's see if it'll reach. Yep. And will it go to straight to it? Nope. It's not liking it. Oh, it works. But it's, is it going the right way? Yes. Okay, yeah, uh, it's not terrifically elegant, but that will work for us. What's happened with this one? Uh, it's on top of a tree. Let's get our chainsaw out and make some space here. Oh, we have no fuel on us. Even though it sounds like it started. Yes, that's kind of not quite right. Okay, let's try that again. Get it lined up, Just make sure it's square, yep. See if we can connect it now, even though it's going to be very steep. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's get our paint gun and do some colouring. We want brown, the wood. And green for leaves. And we'll put up some platforms here, I think, so we can reach them. Let's see what we can do here. That's a large ramp. More for a vehicle than anything, I think. Okay, so we can reach them by that. Okay, it's not bit very pretty, <laughs> but uh, we'll be moving the hub at some point so we can rearrange. But this should function now, so let's see if we have actually got any. Not very much, so we can put all of our fuel now into that container because it's taking up lots of space. This will be where we come to get our biofuel. Let's take a stack, right click, you can break a stack, so just keep 45 with us for when we use the chainsaw. Okay, so that is great, uh, but we also need to give some power to it, otherwise it won't work. Yes, that old chestnut. Okay, so power poles. One there to power those two, and a backbone delivery. But have we used all of our connections here? Mm, we will be. That's not a backbone though. That is, that's full. Hmm, yes. That's going to limit us. We're going to have to rethink things after this, but at least this will keep us going for a considerable amount of time. And we'll paint that blue. because it's backbone. Okay. So now we need to tell these what they're doing. So you'll be making... Oh no. We need two constructors to make biomass. This is wrong. This is wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay. Let's try this again. All of that and you have two different um, recipes for making biomass as a wood one and a leaf one. So we don't need this. 
So that can go to there. And we do need another constructor. This is just an awful place to be building this here. Hmm. Oh, complications. Well, that's what it's about, solving the problems. And looking a bit silly in the, in the process. So, we could just, we'll have a, a merger here. Like that. So that will merge the made biomass into one belt to be made into biofuel. So, let's get a constructor down to make the other kind. Oh, that's the wrong way. Oh, no, no, it's the right way. So we just bung it here? Can we afford it? Nope. Can we reach that? Nope. <laughs> a little bit of health damage, but we're alright. So we need more reinforced iron plates. Do it. So we'll have him coming over through here to here and fed in to make biomass. Can we come round under here? Is that going to look silly? Probably. Let's put a pole in. This should look a bit tidier than it was before, just a little bit bigger. And then ooh, I'm going to have to move this power pole. Okay, reconnect this up. Get a better view of things. There it is. Right, so yeah, this is. I was thinking this would be a good place for power, but it's a bit hilly, so we'll probably end up moving this eventually. But right now, we just we just want uh, stuff being made for us rather than have to handcraft. So let's block him on there. So now we have biomass from leaves, biomass from wood made into biofuel and into there. Right, that's the way you're meant to do it, not the way I was doing it before. So let's connect these guys into the system. And oh, we need another, another, or oh, we could get away with linking that because this is going to stop here for now. So let's uh, kill ourselves again and configure these. So this one, let's just double check. There's leaves. So it's the green box and this one will be wood I'm not worried about optimizing it and this one also we need to select as a biofuel so let's get our chainsaw cut down some trees and fill it up and see what it's like confident it should be fine but hey we just cut this one down. Let's cut this one down. Okay. That was a lot of leaves. I don't want to just cut down everything in the area. Some stuff looks quite nice, but things like this we can afford to lose. So let's actually let's not carry the paint gun in case we accidentally colour things we don't want to. So up to here, let's put our wood in here and our leaves in here let's have a look at everything going, there we are off they go let's go around and have a look from the other side Still lots of shrub around here. I'm sure that won't last. Okay. So yeah, it wasn't a lot of wood I put in, but it does produce a lot of biomass. 
which is now coming out along the belts. So you can go off on an adventure, come back, put all your leaves and stuff you found into those containers, then go off and do something else, come back and you'll have loads of biofuel made. Wonderful. Now they are actually, we could overclock this or we could underclock these two so that they're not backing each other up. That would be good on power saving, so I think we should do that. But there's the biofuel coming out, clipping through a little bit. Yeah, I might, well, we'll be changing this at some point anyway. So let's see if we can adjust this. Let's just eat some food to recover. Okay, and so we need to half the output of these machines. So I'll put them down to 50%. Oh, there we go. Okay, I suppose that's not likely to be optimal. The optimal way to do it would be to overclock the biofuel maker. Because now if we only have leaves and we don't collect any wood, it's just producing leaves uh, biomass at half the speed. But at this rate, they're using lots less power and they can only fill up one belt's worth. So, but they're backed up now anyway from where we had them to begin with at full speed. But yeah, so that's that sorted out. Let's come on back down. Oh, didn't get any full damage then. I guess we bounced slightly. Okay. So, what do we need to do next? We need to start making assemblers. So, what do we need for an assembler? Modular frames, which are made by hand to begin with until you've got an assembler to make modular frames. Great. So we're going to have to have a look, see if we can handcraft up some stuff. So let's stock up what, we, what do we need, a bit of everything. Take one stack of concrete, 300 iron rods, let's take all of these iron plates. Uh, full stack of screws, a couple of stacks of wire, let's take all the wire actually, and let's get this processed. So, there we are, modular frames and rotors, we have to make reinforced iron plates, that's what we need to automate next. But to automate them we need to build an assembler, which means we need to handcraft some iron plates, reinforced iron plates. To be able to, to handcraft some modular frames. Ah, oh, it's never ending. Okay, so we need to get some rotors as well, which means we need more screws. We sure use those quickly. Yeah, screws don't last very long at all. Oops. So let's make a few rotors. Okay. So now we should be able to place down an assembler to make reinforced iron plates. So I think we should use this space here for assemblers. I'll put in this way. Boom, our first assembler is ready. Well, not quite ready. So reinforced iron plates need screws and plates. Rotors need rods and screws and modular frames need reinforced iron plates and rods so that's going to be a whole different section but now we just want to make these so we need to make quite a few other constructors to supply this without taking from our normal feed to the uh, to the minimal so we need four iron plates to 24 screws which i think is about one for one but we will measure all this so let's lay out some constructors here luckily we're quite near the new smeltery so we can feed these quite easily so let's put down a look excuse me let's put down a lookout tower got hiccups going on here so 
turn our flashlight off because it's daytime. Okay, so let's get some constructors on the go. Let me just have a drink. Okay, that's better. Refueled and hydrated. Okay, so let's get in our first constructors once we have enough items to make them. Must remember to keep looking at what I'll be needing. And yes, constructors take reinforced iron plates. Expensive. Look at all this going on. Lovely. I'm not sure how I like everything being up in the air. It's kind of cool. I'm just really concerned about access. I just don't want to be jumping and being blocked constantly. So. Okay, so what do we what are we lacking? Screws. Let's see how much we've got now stored up. I actually went to the toilet whilst I had a drink as well, so we might have some stuff. Yep, got a few bits backed up here. Uh, let's take some more iron plates. Yeah, so definitely would consider upping the throughput of iron plates since there's much less of those usually than everything else, but they do take twice as much as the iron rods, twice as many plates, and twice as long, I guess. So, let's make as many of these as we can. Well, uh, yeah, let's, let's make a lot. Let's continue. Uh, in fact, if we're going backwards, we should probably connect this up first. How are we going to do this? Should we go over the top and go even higher? Yeah, let's do it. Sky's the limit, right? Two, three. Okay, and then we'll put another pole over here. Is this getting messy now? No, we can still have a nice clear open path. So that's our main road here. So here we can build another pole. Get it kind of lined up. Probably somewhere like that. One, two, three. You to there. Then we'll put a lower, slightly lower pole here. One, two. And there we go. So our reinforced iron plate assembler is connected to them all. We just now need to feed it with what it needs. So yes, it's rods and screws, was it? No, plates and screws. So let's go back up the ladder actually and get a better perspective. Okay, so I'm gonna have to be bringing stuff down here. Shall we make our constructors here, I think? Use this space here towards the water. Let's do that. Okay, that's is that aligned, yep. So go there. We need, so, yep, so there's the both first tier. Oh no, there's screws. So we need another constructor here. Ooh. So rods, iron plates, screws, plates and screws into there. Okay, that's that makes sense. Let's go back down. Let's connect this up to here. And I think we'll chop these down. Now the dog can see the rabbit, as my dear old granddad would say. And I think we'll get rid of this tower for the moment, because it's in the way. Right, let's think about this. Uh, we can feed... We can feed this from this belt that's already here. Oops, let's get rid of that. Yeah, 15 per minute, and that's currently being fed 30. So we can split her off 
and feed the iron plates from that same belt. So let's do that. Let's uh, put a conveyor pole about here. Get too high. And then another one here. Too high. And we'll put a splitter. Is that a splitter? Yep. On there. And connect him up to there. And feed this down into the iron plates constructor. And we tell this one, yep, yeah, iron plates please, thank you very much. And then are we gonna bridge these? Yeah, we might as well. Start as you mean to go on. That's iron plates fed and connected. Just not powered yet. We'll do that last. So let's uh, connect up the iron rods. We will need a new line from a smelter. Which we can pair off to something else eventually as well. So let's get a pole. Let's bring it to about the same place as here. Is that too high? Yeah, that, is that one too high? Yeah, it should be two, not three. Let's try that again. Ah, that's because it's on a slope, it looked a bit different. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so he's now being fed ingots and will make iron rods. That then will be made into screws by this fella. Fantastic. Should we chop this back? Let's chop this back. Still not getting used to the buttons on this, but that's just me. They're all very close together, so I've got no excuse. Not like space engineers when you're using all the keyboard for all the different hotkeys. So, now we just need to connect this. Oh, we need a conveyor pole. We'll come nice and close. One, two. Bit there. Yeah, I think if you can, if you double click on a conveyor pole when you're connecting the belts it will automatically select the other side it seems to work that way I believe okay so now we just need to add power so back up to the watchtower for that oh yes this is looking nice very nice got our copper going down here cool we really have expanded out here haven't we running back and forth here thinking this is a great big area now we've got all sorts going on in it so power poles we where's the branch this is the main branch we could come from here into this area so let's do a main power branch back here and another one Okay, so we only need to power these three engine, the, these three machines, because these are actually already connected up. So this should be enough. So it's power line to there, power line to there, and since that's the end, that's to there. Let's color. Should we? Is that going to be? A, I suppose it is a backbone. Yep. Yeah. Main branch. Oh, that's not a paint gun. There we go. Okay. So, there we are. We're having plates and screws made specifically to be made into iron reinforced iron plates. Hurrah! That's that's good. That's very good. All delivered to our lovely mini mall. Oh, look at the 
the frame rate of things in the distance. I'm not sure if because I have the not sure if that's because I have the graphics set to ultra or whether that's just to keep the game running fairly smooth when you have big batteries going on. But yeah, I can live with it. It's still illustrated. But up, everything up close is still nice and smooth. But yes, this has given us everything we could want. This this area. It's got some great mine patches, uh, mining patches. Now, we haven't actually powered this assembler, so let's go ahead and do that. That's a junction, that's a junction. We could do with another pole here and a pole there. See that one as well, and another power pole. So get rid of this, and power line there, there. So we put another junction in and extended the branch this way, and then we're connecting it to the assembler power rower in case we need to put anything else around there. And there we go. Should be powered up, ready to go. Let's go back down and have a look. Oh dear. Yep, it's happening. And there goes the power. I was just thinking, I wonder how our power's doing. Yeah, assemblers use considerable amounts of energy. So it looks like we're gonna have to build a couple more biomass burners, but that's cool. I think we'll build more down the hill this time because it was quite awkward before. Power! Oops, that's the wrong button. So yeah, we will be getting automated power systems going at some point. Which we can expand a lot in the form of coal power. So yeah, let's do our other ones here. Let's actually chop this down. Is this another node? This is another node. Oh my goodness. It's everywhere. So let's put one here. Where are we? Uh, yeah, one here, I guess. Yeah, this is cool. Let's get a bunch of fuel and fuel everything up. And now we're going to start seeing... Oh, yeah. We've made a fuel system for this. But uh, we, we're going to start seeing our fuel being used a lot more now. Obviously. Oh, yes. We can put our... Is it the top one's leaves? Yeah, the top one's leaves. Because they're lighter. They're higher. So let's put the leaves in this one. And the wood in this one. And we'll have even more made for next time. So let's uh, do a full fuel up. Okay, now we've got to connect them up. So let's go up in our handy dandy watchtower. Okay, so where are our branches? So these two are connected to that one. Okay, so let's put another one in for these two. Connect the two new ones up to it and connect that extend to there. So now we should be able to turn the power back on and everything should be peachy. And we'll have another 40, 40 megawatts. Yeah, it should be another 40, so 120 megawatt capacity. There we 
go. Oh, yeah, 120 megawatts. But we're using 83, so yeah, that assembler, look at the difference from here to here. See, what I'd like now would be on the mouse, I'd like it to show me the amount, or at least at the side, say, like a scale, so you can see how much that is and how much that is. So you could compare how much, although you could just look at the assembler and see how much power it's using. Let's, let's go and check that out. I think it's something like six or seven maybe. <coughs> it's quite a lot. Also we need to start going around and optimizing how things are running. Let's see if we've got anything coming out of here. Not a lot. Is it even turned on? No, yes it is. So 15 megawatts, that is insane. That is very, very, very hungry. So I want to check the miners, see if I've underclocked them. I think I did. Yeah, that one is. This one isn't even using everything, it's probably full up now. Yep, so that's producing the right amount. These are at 30 per minute, that's correct. Even though, are they actually, yeah, it is using power, so we can turn these off. Didn't realize that. I thought when they got to a point where they couldn't make any more, they'd be turned off, but no. So, that's gonna help with eight megawatts. So, yeah, that dropped there, I think. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And now we have reinforced iron plates being delivered. Or do we? Yes, we do. Slowly. 20 per minute. I think we're, or we're producing 15 per minute. So yeah, pretty sweet animation. I think you could stand... Yeah, there's a ladder here. You can stand in the bay. Oh, I don't know what it's doing there. And you can watch stuff being made. But you can see this is not getting enough plates. So we will need to expand the rate of plates for this. Oh, there we go again. Working away. That is pretty decent animation. Very cool. Okay. Well, I think that's going to be it for this one. Um, again, sorry for the missing episode. That's uh, annoyed me as much as you, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, it was mostly grindy stuff. We All we did was make this start of the new smelting area. But uh, yeah, we're going to be getting on to some much more interesting stuff very soon with vehicles and more exploration and weapons and there's still absolutely loads to research and I only know the half of it because there's three more tiers of research available now and yeah, I haven't experienced those so looking forward to it all. But yeah, thanks for joining me on this satisfactory episode. I've learned from my mistakes and hopefully we won't lose another episode. But yes, see you in the next one guys and girls. Adios.